Now a cold case investigation cracked. The Orange County Sheriff's Office announcing its maiden arrest decades after a man was found beaten to death in his bed. Catherine Silver is following the latest developments. Joins us now from the Orange County Sheriff's Office with the latest. Catherine. Sheriff John Mina just made that announcement 30 years to the day after deputies found John Stagner dead in Orange County. Detectives here say the suspect in this case is actually a person of interest that they identified years ago. The sheriff's office gave us pictures of that suspect, Ronald Cates, seen here on the left, and the victim, John Stagner. You can see him on the right on your screen. Detectives say the 53-year-old was a maintenance worker in Orange County, who was found beaten to death in his bed. They say that Ronald Cates was his friend and he was known to borrow tools and other items from Stagner and pawn them to make money and buy drugs. Deputies say they did not have enough evidence to arrest him back in 1992 or through the years, even after he allegedly confessed to family members. The sheriff's office says the Cates family ended up being key to solving this case. In 2020, actually, um, a family member of the Cates family contacted the sheriff's office and got this ball rolling again. The family really uh, cared about this case, even if they were the suspect's family, because Mr. Stagner was very, very good to the Cates family. He uh, would give them money at the time when they needed it or a place to stay. Detectives say they did extensive interviews with the Cates family in March of this year. They got the evidence they needed to make an arrest in April when they say Ronald Cates was hospitalized in another state and a nurse heard him say that he killed someone in Florida back in 1992. Deputies say that led to an on-camera confession from Cates. Right now, he is in jail in North Carolina waiting to be brought back here to Florida. I'm live in Orange County. Catherine Silver, Getting Results, News 6. All right, Catherine, thank you.